South Africa will speak out against unilateralism, protectionism and policies upsetting the global trade regime at this week's G20 summit in Osaka, Japan. That's according to Professor Anil Suklal of the Department of International Relations. He says South Africa, as the only permanent member of the G20 on the African continent, will seek to advance the course of both South Africa and the continent at the Osaka summit. Our reporter Gloria Safakomusi is there and filed this report. As the delegates arrive in Osaka for the G20 summit, trade tensions weighing on the global economy threaten to take center stage. The leaders of China and the United States will be among delegates gathered here. South Africa plans to speak out against the impact that the trade war is having on it as a small open economy. South Africa has been directly impacted by unilateral measures imposed, especially on our steel and al aluminium exports. We have lost uh, in the region of between eight to 10,000 jobs in this regard. So we believe the ongoing trade tensions between these two major powers impacts uh, and negatively uh, hurts the smaller economies and South Africa and the African countries have much to lose. So we are hoping that the G20 would address these kind of tensions and the proposed bilateral meeting between President Xi and President Trump. Japan's priorities for its presidency are to focus on the global economy, trade and investment, innovation, women empowerment and health. This speaks directly to the challenges that South Africa is facing. South Africa says it will leverage the summit as a platform for securing financial and other support for infrastructure development. Us here, we don't just come here to discuss these global issues. We come here on a mission. That's why we, we also brought a business delegation that started in, 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 in Tokyo yesterday. Today, they are, they are there. So we, 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 are, we, are, we are on a mission. We are on a mission to boost investments, to attract investments, and actually to lure uh, anyone who's got finances, who's got money and resources, to actually boost our small economy. Other issues that are on the agenda include tax transparency, profit shifting and base erosion by multinationals robbing countries of the much needed revenue. Flora Safago Mosi, SABC News, Osaka, Japan.